back. <laughs> I, I knew you were going to start go. with welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Just when you thought the water was safe. Yeah. And we sure had a lot of water recently. Yes, we have. And our, our heartfelt prayers and everything else go out to the people adversely affected by the recent storm. I know I was. You see my property, you'd know I was. But people had it far worse than I did. And, you know, lots of people were left homeless. Uh, sadly, some people died. And, uh, you know, it's all nice to smoke a cigar and have nice camaraderie, have a drink or whatever. But, you know, people suffered in our area. It wasn't just in Louisiana or New York or New Jersey. No, well, New Jersey, yeah. <laughs> But people right in our home area, the Philadelphia and the Philadelphia <laughs> suburb, really suffered, so, you know. That's correct. When you look around and you think how decent you have it, think about the people who really got kind of yeah. beat up in this recent storm. So, I guess uh, enough enough of that. And uh, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for having us back, Wayne. Thanks, Wayne. What are we uh, What are we smoking today? <laughs> um, today it is the San Latano by A.J. Fernandez, mm -hmm. uh, the Requiem Toro. Cool. Um, now the wrapper on this is. Very interesting. There's only two cigars I read that have this wrapper. It's a Brazilian Habana. Mm -hmm. mm. So that, I, th I think that's interesting with, in a Nicaraguan binder and Honduran and Nicaraguan filters. Well, you really you mixed it up, yeah. You realize everybody wants to know what the other cigar is. That has I, the don't, I don't know. Didn't, like I was reading up on it and didn't say. It's unlisted. Uh. <laughs> Go out and find it. Don't only work for you. <laughs> Oh, we're smoking this, and we had AJ, we had the New World last week because we have uh, uh, events. Ah. Uh, actually, tomorrow in Fraser from 11 to 2 with AJ, event, uh, not with AJ, but with AJ uh, Cigars. He'll be there in spirit, though. He'll, in spirit, yes. And then Westchester also tomorrow, 4 to 7, and then on Friday, Colmar from 4 to 8. So, um, I know we've had this... Uh, same event in other stores, and it was a huge success. Yeah, especially in Quaker Town. Oh my huge. God. I saw Hiley yesterday. Did you? Stopped in. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Events. That's cool. Yeah, the AJ events always do really well. John does a great job. The sales yeah. rep for AJ. Yeah. He does very well. He's he's and a good salesperson. I hope they have the same swag that they had before because it was awesome. What it was, was it? Well, not Yeti, but it was a, a New World tumbler. Mm -hmm. was was fantastic. And he also had some, some whiskey glasses. Cool. Yeah. Nice. And I think that it was a buy four, get one, ten and three, a box. A good deal. It was a fan, yeah. Do they don't have quote any, me on that, but. Do they have any, like, soda glasses? Because I, I don't drink whiskey. I mean, what would I get? You could drink anything you want out of it. Oh, okay. So you fill it up with a ginger ale and pretending you're drinking whiskey. I don't drink ginger ale either. <laughs> oh, well. What's great about AJ is they've got such a wide portfolio. So yeah. if you want you know, anything from a mild cigar like the, the New World Connecticut to something full-bodied like almost everything else. <laughs> no, actually, yeah. the, the he This the isn't a full-bodied cigar. Yeah, it is. You think so? I think so. It's no, a fact. It's not fact. a fact. I read it on the internet. <laughs> I read it. <laughs> so on therefore, the it's a fact. Oh, he's well, that makes it true. The Cameroon's not real. The that Cameroon's makes it true. medium. That's a that's a fantastic. It story. is a very good Cameroon. We debated on whether or not to do that one or this one, but we we had this, this one. Good a choice. Good choice. What's the price point on these? This one's eight fifty. Yeah. We, ha we carried this in a Churchill, and the Churchill's probably nine bucks. Oh, this is all. It's a it's a big. It's a lot of cigar. <laughs> It's, it's a Toro. Like it's regular Toro. No, 52? It's thicker than no, it's, it's at least a 52. It might be a 54, yeah. yeah is it really? It's bigger, which I like. Let me get my micrometer out. I don't. 54. There you go. <laughs> you got to get out your pocket one. Took out my pocket micrometer. <laughs> 54. You know, it's funny. I'm looking at a description of, or, you know, of oh, it does the say cigar. 54. And it has wrapper type. Brazilian Habano and then wrapper shade EMS. I've never seen anybody English Market Selection. Yeah, yes, yeah. but I've never seen anybody. A actually, it's English funny. Market Select is it's is Candela. No, that's American Market. That's American. Oh, that's right. This what did you little, say? English. I think this is a little dark for EMS. It, it, EMS is a couple shades. Well, traditional the English Market is a couple shades lighter than. Yeah, this. like You're the right. um, looks more Connecticut. The uh, it's Excalibur. Yeah, it's right. a beautiful shade. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Beautiful. It doesn't, it just I, doesn't I, look like it. You're right. My point isn't that the match is the shape, but I haven't. I don't remember seeing anything where somebody talks about the wrapper type and then the wrapper shade. Yeah. Uh, you don't see too many cigars nowadays designated EMS. Uh -uh. In the old days, and actually, st I think still to today, certain punches and Hoyos yes. get yeah. designated EMS. But I don't think in any other cigar maker, I could be wrong. I think there I, is one other. Which one? I think there is one other, and I can't remember. No, it could it be. But that uh, EMS used to be a very sought after designation. I'm pretty sure they just, they still use that as just part of their, their brand. So yeah. They keep yeah. the brand consistency. Yeah. You know what? The punch EMS looks this dark. Yeah, dark. It's dark. Mm -hmm. It's not as light as the uh, Excalibur. But think about it. Again, getting back to the old Villazon range, punch, oil right. mostly, you don't see cigars called Maduro Maduro, only in that range. Mm -hmm. You see them called Oscuro, typically. Right. Mm -hmm. And even Oscuro anymore is not all that much used. It's, well, it's the, Maduro Maduro, the Maduro Maduro is not called double Maduro because it's darker. It's because it has that's two. The, that's it the has way a, they blend a, it and make it. Well, it has a binder and yeah. wrapper is Maduro. Really? Ar Armador. Uh, that's yeah. why they do that? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, uh, Art says you're full crap. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> or you've been drinking. Is that what that means? <laughs> okay. It's a, it's, it's a wonderful story. They're both, they're both Maduro. <laughs> I, did, I, I didn't know that. I thought it was just their term for us. No. Mm -mm. Nope. Well, then, what, then what's, the, what's the binder on the regular Maduro? Do you know? I don't. Cheap tobacco. Because they both look exactly the same. It's funny how the binder has turned into an intricate part of the cigar. Mm -hmm. yeah. 25 years from now, uh, from uh, ago. <laughs> I was reading about Star Wars this morning. 25 years ago, you know, the binder was the least important. I mean, it was important to the function of the cigar, right. but as far as a, an expensive piece of tobacco, it wasn't. You know, I've, t I've talked to cigar manufa like manufacturers. Yeah. Like, when I've been on the trips, and they're like, I don't know, we've always... The, the binder has always. I'm like, are you allowed to say BS it. in a full term? Yeah. Like, stop it. Yeah. I mean, come on. Cam all of a sudden you're using Cameroon. Wait, wait a minute. What's the what's the purpose of a binder? <laughs> and and you're using Cameroon. That the doesn't. The binder. They don't, they don't the, work. The no. binder ensures the properties of the smoke, the even burning. You know, it's easy right. to look. And up Cameroon what the doesn't work. Yeah. Because it's too thin. Burns yeah. too quickly. Pencil strength is weak. So, but there are people who use it though. Mm hmm. Right, which I, th I think is great. I mean, it adds complexity to the cigar rather yes. than just a plain old Honduran. I wonder if those manufacturers use a double binder. I would For Cameroon? I would no, 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 a uh, Cameroon binder and something else with it to bind it. Because they do, a lot, of, a lot of companies do that. Some have Nicaraguan and Dominican they binders. They, a lot of they companies might. do it. I mean, I would think not double Cameroon because that gets expensive. I would tell yeah. you that I'll bet some of the old time cigar blenders and, and guys, and we know who some of them are, would tell you when they brag about double bound, that's like making a positive out of a negative. Because usually it's short fill. Yeah, it's usually not yeah. a good piece of tobacco. And the fact that they have to use two pieces to ensure the integrity of the cigar. A lot of people are using it to, to add to flavor. I'm telling you. Yeah, I wonder. You know, I well, often wonder about that. I'm just telling you, when I do all these descriptions and stuff like that for uh, for the Saturday show, Okay, so let's doesn't. think about this. Let's think about this. What's on top? The, the, cap, the, the wrapper. wrapper. What's underneath the wrapper? The binder. The binder. And what's underneath the binder? Well, they could use another binder. So they can instead use of, instead they of could bunching use 20 it, binders. <laughs> yes, okay, theoretically. Okay, so put 20 binders <laughs> on top of what? But wait, wait a second. Isn't you know. Or what? I can't ever pronounce that right. What's that? Entubar. 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 That's no. just a way that's of that's just a tubing. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's they put wrapping. the bunch together and then they wrap it and yeah. then they wrap it again yeah. in a binder. Then they put it in the molds and yeah. then they put the wrapper yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what they do. You know what? Okay, <laughs> I'll take you one further. Yeah. So why not just keep wrapping strips of various types of tobacco? Because you can't do that. Instead of because you need put, something to put in it, you put, <laughs> just put a little. Tiny you need something down to the wrap middle. it around. Like, what are you going to wrap it around? You know how the, you know how they roll a joint? They put the little marijuana stuff in the paper. I'm not familiar. So with why that. not just take some tobacco, <laughs> put it on the paper, and and bind it 27 times with various types of tobacco? They have machines to do that, and you'll get like a tutti yeah. frutti taste. They have machines that do that. I know. <laughs>
Tampa, in Tampa, as a matter of fact. I think yes, <laughs> we've all been there. You know, having been in this business a long time, probably too long, you know, I've seen a lot of a lot of things done to tobacco. I I've known I've known people that use red wine. Uh, well, yeah, I don't want to mention <laughs> names. <laughs> but I know they use red wine. Yeah. I know people that have used tea leaves. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to mention anybody has red wine? Yeah, I don't know. And, and I know that. That's why I'm wondering why he doesn't want to mention it. <laughs> and, and, and there's all kinds of tricks the cigar makes. Yes. Talk to somebody like Ricky Rodriguez, mm. or talk to somebody like Benjamin Endes, or Ernie. Ernie, there's all kinds of little tricks that they go to and change, enhance, modify, consistently blend flavors. And this whole double bound thing, why not triple bound? Why not quadruple bound? Maybe there are. Seems or, very, seems or very agitated. I know. We say, yeah, yeah. Wasn't, yeah. What, wasn't there a cigar that was triple Maduro? Yeah. What? Wasn't there a cigar years ago? Yeah, there triple, triple Maduro, yeah. Okay, so Maduro. how do you make a triple Maduro? I don't know. Maduro uh, Three and filler. filler, filler, binder, and wrapper. I think somebody down at the box factory just couldn't spell double, but he could spell triple, so he put it on the box. <laughs> that, <laughs> that might be closer. That's <laughs> very, very true, very true. They don't get this show, do they? <laughs> Next thing you know, you're going to knock I on the door. I think sometimes, <laughs> and us included, Sometimes we take this way too seriously. Yeah. We take it way too seriously. I'm just putting out Sometimes, facts. Yes, no, 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 no. It's good to have a discussion. It's it's fun to poke fun at it and, and I'm enjoy just it. Pointing out facts. Oh yeah, because some people. I mean, we sit here and we talk about the flavors, and some people yeah. get the mm, out of here. Hey, you don't get that lemon peel and all this. Other oh no, stuff. yeah, I I don't get that. And you can tell it's well, not lemon white peel, pepper, black you know pepper, I mean. pepper, yeah, 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 no, no, pepper, yeah, 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 cigar. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I get, I get a little. I'll, 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 oh yeah, it's a little spicy, or yeah, I, I, I get, yeah. you know, yeah. it's sweet, yeah. you know. But it, it, Rob, one of Rob's and my favorite descriptions is bark. Bark. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm sorry. I, I, it may taste like bark to other people. I don't get it. Beside chocolate, beside chocolate and trees, is there any other kind of bark? No. Pepper. Not a dog. But Peppermint. Cinnamon is a bark. Peppermint bark. Oh. oh, you had cinnamon bark. Well, but all that usually wrapped around chocolate somehow, is it not? No, cinnamon's wrapped well, around cinnamon. Tasting it's just a cigar, it's a bark. to me, it's like, I taste it, it's yeah. what pops into my head. You like it or you don't like it? What? Well, or if there's that. I smoke it and go, that's good. Yeah. I wonder what I could drink with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> and and yeah. if I could pair it up with something I like, it's a winner. Particularly <laughs> Jack. Yeah, well... Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, but something I, I love at times sitting back and trying to identify what the different flavors are. It's just it's kind of fun. Yeah, I agree with you. You should, because with your palate as being a chef, you should be really good at it. Well, yeah, but it's dulled by years of Jack. <laughs> <laughs> you may be right on that. <laughs> you know, my friend. But yeah, yes, when I'm when I'm sitting down and I'm enjoying a cigar, I like to see if I can find the, the flavors in it. I have a, a friend who loves <coughs> Jack Daniels so much, and I don't know if this is coincidence, but she named her kids Jack and Daniel. No, really? No, no, Lord. Wow. <laughs> like, a, like Alec and Bradley. Like, yeah. like the, when I, I take a hiatus every now and then, and j the factory sends me a letter, are you okay? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what do they call that one? When like like there's an older person, a they wellness send the check, a welfare check. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I get a welfare check. Right. No wellness. <laughs> wellness. Wellness check. Yeah, not yeah. a welfare check. Yeah. Wellness check. A lot check. of that with snowstorms. People coming by, making sure you're all right. Laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to you, Moose. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you, I'm fine. Have, I got plenty. Have you heard of this Jack Daniels? I saw an ad flash up on Facebook that it's the Frank Sinatra version of. Oh, it's great stuff. Yeah, it's awesome. We should, we should probably it's also really expensive. We should put on a disclaimer that we're not sponsored by Jack Daniels. Yeah, we're not sponsored. Yeah. No, 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 we're not. No, just happen to be here. Unless they want to, and then they send some over. Yeah, yeah. there you go. We got a bottle of it over there. We can put it on the table. <laughs> we can we can do an intravenous line, right? You know, just wipe, yeah, eliminate no longer, the middleman. I no longer forget the glasses blood. and the wash up. Just stick the needle in and go. Yeah, I don't have no blood left anymore. Oh Jack. Lord. Well, I think we should give our first opinion of the cigar since we're so far into the show. I'm afraid to because you guys will make fun of me. Pencil lead. We won't make fun of you. It's lead. Pencils don't have lead. Pencil stuff that makes marks. <laughs> Whatever it is. Graphite? Yes. Pencil graphite. Didn't uh, they used to have earthy. lead in them? Yes. Pencils did. never had lead. 
ever. They always said put lead in your pencil. I know, it's just a, it's a misconception. Pencils never had lead. I'm glad you cleared that my, up. My pencils never had lead in it. <laughs> That's a personal problem. So well, you're saying a number two pencil has no lead in it? Never well, had lead. That kind of makes sense. Nope. Wow. Gaz used to have lead in it. Look it up. You got the internet. No, no, I believe you. He's actually correct. It never, it's always been graphite. That's the graphite. material that they use. Even back in the 18th century? Yeah. But there are buffalo in the, uh, never mind. Yeah. Okay. Moose, you go first. Well, first, first thing I got to say is it's burning very well. It's well constructed. I like the taste. Um... I'm not getting any hints of anything other than a little uh, uh, pepper mm -hmm. yeah. at the beginning, but not a real strong flavor mm -hmm. of it. Mine is not burning evenly, and I could give a crap. I don't care about that one iota. Wow. This, if it has well, a what do you draw, really mean? No, if it has a good draw and tastes good, who cares? Yeah. What, I tell Easy people that draw. all the time. What do you care if it doesn't burn perfectly? Like, well, really? if it canoes or tunnels yeah. or... No, yes, yes. Yeah, but they I'm talking carried. about like this. People have a bloody fit over that. Oh, for God's sake. I'm like, come on, stop it. You got a torch, you can even it out if it really bothers you. Yeah. It will even itself out. It will even itself out. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, you put the canoe part on the bottom, and that's the way it works. For mm -hmm. some reason. You know what's funny? I read that when I first started smoking cigars... And I was you know, reading it. I've read everything I could get my hands on. And I, for some reason, I remember that. You put really? that on the bottom. Yeah. I guess because yeah. it, 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 the, the heat gathers there and it makes it burn. Maybe. But I, I remember like 25 years ago reading that. Hmm. Well, I never read that, but okay. And how did you know? Who told you? Uh, you, know, you know who told me that? Steve. No. Mike Dixon. 20, about 20 years ago. Yeah, mine was 25. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Dixon told me that. Yeah. Shout out to Mike Dixon. He, he, he's on every beach from here to Florida. Yeah, fishing. Living the life. Yeah. Rob? Um, I, I get a, a hint of cocoa through the retro hail. Not through the, not through the mouthfeel, but through the retro hail. I get a hint of cocoa. From the, for, you get that from the Nicaraguan tobacco, I guess. So. Speaking of retro hail, should we try that next week? Well, who's going to remember? Teach people how to retro hey, hail. Go through how to retro hail. Good, you can teach me. I've never done it. It won't be. No. A it, no. it won't be a long lesson. No, it won't be. <laughs> but still, you've never retro hail. Yep. Nope. Have you ever tried you to retro hail? I don't know how. Right, right, we'll, ever we'll showed me. Next week. Okay. It's relatively simple, and you really it's it, much like different ways to taste food and stuff. Mm -hmm. it, it it gives it a, a, another taste. You it tastes differently when it goes through the sinuses as opposed to just in and out. I think I've burned mine out because it doesn't taste that much different anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know how we, we learned that it, when we were Christians mm -hmm. uh, down in Honduras at Camacho, he told us he brought us over to this huge huge bale of tobacco, and he goes, okay, breathe it and go. And you and you're like okay, and you can taste a little bit, m mostly ammonia. Yes. Yeah. But then and it stings. Yes. But then he goes, okay, now breathe through your nose, and it was totally to different. Totally different. Yeah. And it's but it's the same tobacco. Obviously, it's the same tobacco. But then then you just try to blow it through your nose. You keep your no, mouth. There, there, well, I won't talk about it now. Yeah. Next week. But there was. I remember exactly how he told us to do it. I do. I, I don't remember it. that. Oh, I don't. I. People aren't going to want to try it, but that's how you do it. But you get so much more flavor out of the cigar. Yeah. You really do. It's, it's different. Sometimes that's mm. not good, though. Why? It's a bad cigar. So you don't have to. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you got that right. I, I noticed that I, when I'm like walking my dog, I don't retro hell at all. But when I, I'm sitting down, just relaxing, that's when I do retro hell. I think I unconsciously retrohale every time. I think I have to not retrohale on purpose. Wow. Really? I think so. Wow. No, I have to, I have to I'll do have, to have somebody to just observe me to find out because because <laughs> then I can't. Who's gonna, I, first of all, who's going to want to do that? You guys email me <laughs> if you want to want to do this, all right? Just see sit there and watch Scott all day? You see how many emails I get. <laughs> R. That's a scary <laughs> 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 It's actually I got rid of that email. I know. That's okay. <laughs> He wants to sit and watch Scott do what he does all day. Do you? Sit and watch who? Scott. Does he work? <laughs> He's never at the stores. I don't know. <laughs> He's down at this, this He's store. Usually He's usually at store 20 or store 21. <laughs> <laughs> He's usually at another store. 
Like, if I would, based on how <coughs> you guys determine if I'm working, <coughs> Art hasn't worked a day in his life. Oh, that's, that's true. That's true. I'm not arguing with you. The, no, that's true. It's based on the way we look at it, yes. that is correct. It, it, <laughs> but I, but I fake it love pretty what you good. Do, it's not work. I fake it pretty good, though. That's very true. You gotta give me credit for that. I do fake it pretty good. That's true. He's never ringing up sales. That's how we look. No, but you Uh see, you're wrong. I have rung up some sales in the last few years, but I ring it up under 10. The original number was 10. Yeah, that's what you do. Actually, the number, the employee 10 is Kenny. Yeah, Yeah, we'll come up with Kenny's number. That's right. But before it was Kenny's number, it was moi. Yeah, but you're 12. Because, no, I'm not 12. Yes, you are. I think Mike's 12, isn't he? No, no, Mike's twelve. Mike's twenty. Mike's twenty. You're twelve. I don't think you're so. You're thirteen. I don't know. I don't think you're so. You're eighty-two. I'm eighty-two. I originally <laughs> was one. <coughs> I assume that's what. But then the machine wouldn't take single digits for a while, and I just used Kenny's number. Yeah, Ken. it takes <coughs> single digits now because sometimes I miss the one and hit three, and so Tara rang the sale up. <laughs> I do the same thing. So whoever's four, I forget who four is, because mine's forty-three. And I, I, I remember who four. Three. I think it was somebody was in King of Prussia. I think. Oh, King of I don't Prussia. Know. You know, it might be Bud. Yes, I think it was Nick. Bud. I think you're right. I think it's you're Bud. right. Bud. I, I would like to. Uh, There's a blast in the past. Yeah. On behalf of the entire Cigar Cigar family, uh, I'd like to send my condolences to the Dribben family. Yeah. Mike Dribben, Sam's father, who owns Black what? Cat Cigars, uh, recently passed oh, away. Man. And uh, although I have not seen Mike probably in over 20 years, he was a great guy. I always remember his love of antique humidors. And of course, uh, what can I say? We've known Sam seemingly forever. Seems that and, way. And uh, we just want to send our heartfelt condolences to the Driven family. So. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, he was a good it guy. It is a shame. I, I, I did not know. I've him. never met him. Yeah. All the times I've been to Sam's store, I've never, never met his father. I think we, I think we can maybe spend a few minutes uh, talking about. I guess the gorilla in the room, and the gorilla in the no, room. But he's sitting right there. Ah, that's come moose. On. That's not a gorilla. That's a moose. moose. Yeah, come on, get it right. Will get you? it right. I saw my piss. Uh, for the past, <laughs> ever since the pandemic started, uh, I guess about a year and a half ago or so. Yep. There's been a critical shortage of material coming into the stores. By material, we mean cigars. Uh, a lot of the problem was caused by the fact that the factories in the three main growing areas and factory uh, building areas of Nicaragua, Honduras, and the Dominican Republic were closed. And even when they started opening up partially, and to this day, there's still not, everybody's 100% yet. Uh, The supplies to this country uh, got shorter and shorter, and with more people working at home and more time to be able to enjoy a cigar and smoke, uh, it caused problems in the stores, including ours. Uh, it is getting better. The supplies are picking up. Given our visibility in the marketplace, uh, we tend to get taken care of by the bigger companies and such. But we still have a lot. We still, still have holes. Get and, a lot. And, and, yeah. and uh, like I say, it is getting better. <coughs> but you know, you're not going to be able to find your favorites in every model, every shape, color, and size in every store. It just it doesn't happen even in normal times because it's an impossibility. But right now it's slightly exacerbated, but it is getting better. So there is hope. Uh, some of the bigger companies are shipping a lot better now than they were as recently as Some have gone backwards, though. Huh? Some of them have gone backwards. Some have yeah. gone backwards. But it, I expect by the end of the year, first quarter of next year, when the factories are fully open and hopefully uh, the pandemic is in the rear view, hopefully way in the rear view, uh, this problem will be over and the supplies will once again come cascading into not only our stores but obviously any other local tobacconist so um, that that's an inch that's interesting because the the demand has gone up yeah and the supply has gone down and people had nothing to do right like, yeah, well how many smart. industries have that has that happened to them? not many not no. many no. What, what kind of a unique industry yeah period i mean People smoking cigars in a very small and finite number. Uh, it's not a very big industry. The overall industry is not, like I say, not oh, that it's big. Minute. Yeah, there uh, are companies, medium-sized companies, that are bigger than our entire industry. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and it, of course, it's affected some of the smaller companies who depend <laughs> on the bigger companies to make the cigars for them, and some of those companies have had difficulty. But again, I guess. 
you know, not to toot our own horn, but given our, our presence in the marketplace, which is somewhat extensive, uh, the companies, I, I think, have bent over backwards to try to make sure that our consumers are supplied with the product. So just hang in there with us. Uh, we're doing our best. We'll strive to do even better. Uh, but we're aware, <laughs> certainly aware of the problem and doing everything we can to mitigate it. You know what's one of them, to add to that frustration is people say, well, do you know when you're getting them in? Yeah. We're like, I've talked, I've, I've talked to companies, they say they're getting a, a container in. Yeah. All right, are the cigars on? Oh, we don't know. Yeah, they don't. How can I, you not know what you're shipping? The supply chain right now is, is, is somewhat broke. Yeah. But I, I expect as each day and week and month goes by with the uh, companies in Central <coughs> America to be able to pick up the production and as more people go back to work and, and, and go back to offices and, and, and stores and factories, that it'll middle out. It'll, it'll come around back to where it was pre-pandemic. And I suspect we're in the last throes of this. I hope. So let's put a number on this. <coughs> Nine. All right. <laughs> you well, said put a number. <laughs> okay, let's put a number and a little bit of comment. Not a lot uh, of okay. comment. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, it's a great smoke. Uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's been a long, long time since I've had one. Mm. Really? Yeah. And uh, I'm enjoying the flavors. And it goes great with a cup of coffee. I'll bet. There's a sweetness um, that's that kicked in. And the, it started off, I thought it's, I think it starts off a little rough, which led me to believe it was more full-bodied, but it's really super smooth. Um, and I'm getting a chocolate that's almost like a, Chocolate Twizzler flavor. Mm. Chocolate Twizzler? Yeah. Okay. Just milk chocolate, dark chocolate. Yeah. But it, it kind of reminds <coughs> me of of dark of chocolate Twizzler. Okay. Oh, uh, nine nine two five. Okay. I also get the chocolate uh, through the retro hell. I get a coffee uh, flavor uh, that's very very good. Um, I give it a nine five. I love this cigar. I smoke this cigar every chance I get. I really do. I tend to agree with almost everything that's been said here. Uh, I think it's I think it's on the slightly higher end of medium. No, I don't get that. You don't get that. No. I, get I, I, I do. I, I, yeah. I would, if I was talking to a customer, I say it's medium to full. In well, I, I in think the it's closer to medium than full, but it's on the higher end of medium. I would say. Okay. So medium, medium, full. So I'll medium out it with a nine three five. How's there that? You go. Okay. So we want to invite you to stay tuned, watch our cigar outlet show. You're going to save a lot of money. And again, we want to thank you very much for your business. Thank you for patronizing our stores under these somewhat difficult times, although hopefully we'll stick to our guns and not be all walking around looking like dummies well, with masks. Ciao for now, everybody.